Okay, let's now move to number 14. These are logical questions. They're saying, David bought three kilograms of sugar and two kilograms of flour. He paid a lot of that. If he had bought, now we first summarize that. But before that, we, they want us to say that determine the cost of one kilogram of sugar. So we say, I'm going to start by saying, let my x be the cost of one kg of sugar and y be the cost of one kg of flour. Of flour. So they're telling us that he bought three kilograms of sugar, so three x plus two kilograms of flour, so two y, because each kilogram costs y. They told us that he paid a total of 10,000. He paid a total of 10,400. So that's the first case. Then we move to the second case. If he had bought double the quantity of flour, so this is the quantity of flour, and the same quantity of sugar. So sugar, if he had bought the same quantity, so we have 3x plus, they are telling us if he had doubled the quantity of flour. So if he doubles, meaning that you are going to double the quantity. So that would be now. They are telling us that we would have used 13,600. Now there is that we are having two simultaneous equations which we are going to solve there. So if I write this one there, I have now three. Then there I have 3x plus 4y equals to 13,600. Now, because I'm having the same, I subtract, I'll be having negative 2y equals 2. Now I have oh. uh, negative 32, sorry, 100 like that. So from there, if I'm divided through by 2, my y becomes 1600 or 1600 shillings. Then the cost of, so the cost of one sugar will be, now I just substitute in any. So I substitute either here or here. So now I want to get the cost of sugar, so I'll be having now 3x plus now 2 into 1600 equals to 104. And so that my x there will be now which will be three thousand six hundred shillings. So that will be the cost of sugar. So the cost of sugar is three thousand six hundred, then the cost of flour. A one kilogram is 1,600 shillings. Then you come to number part B. In a competition, X girls got a prize of shillings. This. So now they're telling us this is now our part B. X girls got shillings. And then they're telling us that in the same competition, two X boys got now here. Our two X boys also received the same amount. And then the thing is that <coughs> they shared their price equally among themselves. So now, meaning, I want to know these are X girls, these are X boys. I want to know what each girl obtained. So one girl obtained, now I'll say, we get now over x now each girl obtained was getting that amount of money shillings what about each boy so we say one boy from here uh one boy obtained we divide by 2x so meaning that one boy obtained ninety thousand over x shillings so that's the price of each boy now that we continue to say each boy received shillings nine thousand less than each girl 
Now, it means that if I each girl receives this, it means that boys received 9,000 9, less. What will I do? I know that now I'll say each girl was this over x equals to the price of each boy. But now this one's the, the boys received less, meaning to get the price of what each girl received, I add on the 9,000. Or you say this, my 9,000 will be according to the price of each girl. <coughs> so divide by 9, I mean plus 9,000. So that's the, how you had to do it. Alternatively, someone can say, this price minus 9,000 will be getting the price for each boy. Or you add on the other one, it will be less. Okay, so if we divide through by 90,000, but yeah, by 9,000 we get uh, 220 over x. By 90,000 we get 1 over x. Sorry, so we are supposed to divide through by 9,000, I think. 9,000 there, 9,000 there, and 9,000 there, we get our 1. Multiply through by x to get. Then our x there will be 10. So meaning they want us to get how many boys were in the competition. So remember our boys were 2x, meaning they are going to be 2 times 10. So the competition had 20 boys. So that's how we had to do that number. It was a logical question, but very, very easy. That's it. Let us move to the next simple question.